All right, guys. So Texel is getting his Extreme Z Awakening very, very soon. So to prepare for that, uh, I wanted to go ahead and 100% a couple of units. Last time we looked at the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta uh, on this category. Pretty good unit. Uh, I don't mind 100%ing him because he will be very, very valuable on the future category as well as in Cell's Extreme Z Awakening event. So now let's go ahead and 100% this spirit bomb sword rage trunks now it's such a cool moment such a cool character but honestly i could say like between the two this trunks will probably be more uh of regret for me in 100 percenting he's gonna be very good for Texel's easy that's for sure but this guy uh i think is going to be a little underwhelming moving forward with how his passive will work i also could see a new rage trunks and merge zamasu like dual dokkan fest coming at some point in the future so uh, i do think this trunks could be overshadowed uh shortly actually so let's go ahead and hop into an event testing out uh this future category team all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and hop into the event like this now one thing about this spirit bomb sword trunks which i've never been a fan of of him and i think is going to continue into the future is in order for him to kind of reach reach his max potential in damage uh he needs to get intelligence type orbs to raise his attack and honestly he gets 15 percent attack per in k sphere and i don't really know that that's high enough uh because a lot of units nowadays you know they get attack buffs and usually defense buff as well uh from any type orbs look at tech android 18 uh, as well as the super saiyan 2 physical kefla uh they both get you know multiple buffs uh from any type of orb whereas trunks is just getting attack only from in type orbs so I, I brought a couple of uh orb changing items i don't usually do this but i do kind of want to see like what trunks is actually uh going to be capable capable of dishing out so oh hmm Okay, hold on. This is interesting. There is a lot of in orbs and stuff on the field already. Uh, so here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I think, let's see, the, so the STR one, this changes AGL to STR. Uh, we do have a lot of AGL orbs right there. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll change AGL orbs to STR because Rage Trunks himself he turns SCR orbs into purple orbs. And then uh, we'll be able to change those physical, one, physical ones into purple orbs as well. Okay, boom, there we go, perfect. So as long as like uh, one of these future Gohans don't get like an additional super or anything, uh, we should be good here for next turn Raid Trunks actually getting a vicious monster shot. Okay, so as long as future Gohan does not get an additional super, we're a okay, okay, cool, cool. All right, so let's see what our boy rage trunks can do right here Ooh, that's pretty good that's pretty good uh i think we'll keep him see if i have zamasu do this that's not enough to finish him off definitely not uh the tr version is not that strong so we'll go ahead and get rid of uh those physical type orbs so they will become int type orbs and then boom we can get all of these int type orbs dramatically raising trunks's attack so let's see what we got right here uh the tur hopefully no crits or nothing just a normal attack please don't finish him off. Ooh, okay 1.8 million uh, i mean i guess see that's a very good number but like that's like with orb changing we did that in order for that to actually occur like in order for him to do consistent good damage you're gonna need to get those uh int type orbs and again I i'm not so sure that that's something you can realistically expect to occur all the time see me i'm a big fan of units uh that have a lot of consistency right that like i know they're going to be able to do you know a b and c or x y and z but this raid trunks like i there's no guarantee that there's going to be either a lot of int orbs on the field or str orbs like it is nice that he's self-sufficient but for the most part i do try and steer uh clear of you know nuking type units like this uh, i've said many times i'm not a fan of those type of units uh kefla works pretty well 
because she could get any type of orb. And same thing with the tech Android 18. They can get any type of orb. And then even LR Gohan. LR Gohan is completely in a category of his own because he gets double uh, key from orbs and stuff. He's just dumb strong, right? Uh, okay, so future Gohan is a great partner. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. Boom. There's a lot of int orbs on the field, but they're split up. Now, uh, let's see. That's three. This is four. So, like, you know, sure, it's nice he got all these orbs, but that, there's, you know, there's only so much. Let's see, 15 times four. So, that's what? A, an attack buff of 60%. Barely getting him over 1 million attack right there. Like, see, that's fine, but... Well, I don't know. I, I feel like you probably could get like three to four in orbs a rotation. That's probably actually a realistic number. I, I don't think that's that's anything that like, you know, is laughable. Like, oh, you're not going to be able to achieve that consistently. And, and he does hit that threshold. Usually I'll say as long as the unit can get over a million when rainbowed, I am quite satisfied. But, you know, if you're not able to get any in orbs for him at all, uh, you're, you're just in for a very sort of underwhelming experience with this raid trunks back in the day when he first came out he was a, a very sneaky good leader uh you know using like uh raid trunks as your leader and then bringing a friend wow 2.8 for lr trunks right there holy shit that's very high uh and bringing a friend physical vegeto blue leader back in the day that was like pretty much the best way to set up a hero team uh, but now, uh, this Trunks, you know, because the hero team meta isn't really a thing, it, it does uh, hurt him a bit. Uh, okay, so I will do this. We'll have Future Gohan go first. Boom, right there. And then let's also uh, change those physical orbs into int. So we'll get a little bit more attack right there. Not bad. So let's see how our boy Rage Trunks will do right there. Again, that's not really... It's not super realistic that you're gonna be able to get as many in orbs as we just did, but I do kind of want to see what Trunks is capable of, you know, at the higher end. Cause like, for example, uh, Tech Cells EZA is the main place I'm planning on using this guy. And in there, no items are allowed. So, you know, I, I could sense that at the higher levels, you guys know I like to go as far as I possibly can, you know, level 50, level 60, level 70, 1.7 million, not bad, not bad. Uh, I do think, getting really high on those levels a lot of it is going to kind of be rng based like you know how many in orbs can you get for raid trunks because i think like if he's able to get like a crit and he gets like i don't know 10 in orbs or something like that he will probably cut like uh cells health in half like it, it would probably be significant along those lines so uh, I, I definitely am looking forward to seeing uh exactly how well uh, some of these units are going to do in that EZA. I don't think I'm going to be able to get up to, you know, 100 and... Where did I get? 140? For uh, the Family Kamehameha EZA. And I think I got up to around 80 for Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Broly. I'm not so sure I'll be getting that high with the Tech Cell one. But but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. And then 2.8 by LR Goku Black. And that's not even their 18 key super. God. LR Goku Black is just such a problem. Such a beast of a card right there, bro. Sheesh. And that's it. Yeah, I don't know. Th I'm falling in love with this future category team, man. It's just so easy. Uh, especially any category that has LR Goku Black. Like, they're healing so much to just not use items. Like, you're chilling. Like, like no effort whatsoever. Only items I was using there was just for Raid Trunks to, uh, you know, try and increase his damage a little bit. That's all. So, one last look at the uh, category. So, here's basically what I'm going to have going into that cell. Uh, we'll definitely bring Rage Trunks, the Int Vegeta, probably Zamasu. This Trunks, like, I'm, I'm considering this Trunks right here, but pff, he's not good. <laughs> Even at 100%, I don't know how effective he would be in the event. So, not really a priority for me. But, alright, so, here's Rage Trunks. And again, uh, this Trunks, this is Super Saiyan Trunks Future. This one down here. This is Super Saiyan Trunks Teen. He has the same name as LR Trunks, but I think that LR Trunks uh, is going, like, Int and Physical are going to be the two typings that are, like, uh, super effective damage, basically, against Cell's EZA. So, LR Trunks might be able to uh, be sufficient. 
So this right here, this is Blade of Hope and Dreams, Super Saiyan Trunks Future. His leader skill is Super Type Key plus one and HP attack and defense 70%. Uh, I could definitely see a uh, upgrade for the Trunks coming, maybe sometime soon. Uh, a Spirit Bomb Sword Trunks and then a Merge Zamasu. Maybe uh, one is the Super Type Key one and then maybe HP attack and defense 150%, and then Merge Zamasu could be the same. Although I did see a lot of people wanting an LR Merge Zamasu for uh, kind of li like a free-to-play one, kind of to be like the mirror to LR Vegito Blue. I'm sure we could see those things actually occur. Uh, this guy, his super attack is the Final Hope Slash, of course, the Spirit Bomb Sword, and it does immense damage and greatly lowers defense. Greatly lowers defense is pretty pointless. His passive skill is Light of Miracles, which changes SCR Key Spheres to Int Key Spheres, and then he gets 15% attack per Int Key Sphere obtained, which is nice uh, that he's able to supply his own orbs, but I do think it's a very limited passive. If, if he just had, like, I don't know, an attack buff of, like, 30% or 40%, just, just right at the start, just a little something, that would help him out a lot. Uh, his links are Golden Warrior, Messenger from the Future, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Dismal Future, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. So, fine links, I suppose, but... Wait, Messenger from the Future? You're shitting me. He has this trash link, which is just... Yo, here's another reason Akatsuki... They're, they're fucking assholes, because... There's this link, Messenger from the Future, right? It's mostly Trunks cards, and then... Cell cards. You know who should fucking be in the Future category? sell so they could actually activate this link it's so stupid what the fuck were they thinking oh sell literally has a link called messenger from the future and he's not in the future category <laughs> what were they thinking uh and trunks his 12 key multiplier is 140 percent Another thing to note is he does have very, very low attack for a 100% Dokkan Fest unit. Uh, and he does have two categories now. Hybrid Saiyan category, which of course he's been on for a long time. And then the Future category as well. Just to kind of prove my point here. Let's go ahead. Uh, we already have it sorted by attack and level. Look how far down Rage Trunks is. Well, I guess he's not He's not that far down. Maybe I'm just I'm, I'm complaining too much. Um... What Dokkan Fest unit? Like, Merge Moss was already ahead of him in terms of attack, and he's not even rainbowed. I don't have any rainbow Dokkan Fest units below Rage Trunks, though. No, I don't. Every other Dokkan Fest unit I have rainbowed is above Rage Trunks. So, okay, okay, maybe I do have a point then. Because there's Merge Moss, who's Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, who I've only got a couple dupes in. Uh, Blue Vegeta, Tech Golden Frieza, and Future Gohan do have kind of low attack. Future Gohan, he definitely has low attack for how recent of a card he is. Only 14,000. They definitely could have given him a little bit more. And Rage Trunks, I think he probably could have gotten a little bit more attack as well. But maybe they were very concerned about his passive. I don't know. But, alright guys. So, I am now completely ready for Tech Cell's EZA. And it should be dropping uh, tonight, actually. So, I will see you guys then.